Digital signage players, along with displays, are among the most essential components of modern screen installations. So, what devices come to your mind first when we talk about budget-friendly solutions in this space? Android TV boxes, Fire OS sticks, or maybe something like the Raspberry Pi? Hey there, friends, Gabriel here, and welcome back to the Luke Digital Signage channel, where we talk about everything related to digital screens in one way or another. Today we're diving into a little device that's made a big name for itself across the world, Raspberry Pi. Yep, that tiny single board computer that looks like a toy but punches way above its weight. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or a business owner looking for a reliable and cost-effective digital signage player, this episode is definitely for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our new videos. Great, let's get into it. So what exactly is the Raspberry Pi? For those new to the game, it's a compact, low-cost computer the size of a credit card. Originally designed to make coding and computing more accessible, it's now found its way into everything from home automation to robotics and yes, digital signage. Think of it as a mini powerhouse that runs on open source systems and can connect to screens, the internet, USB peripherals, and pretty much anything else you throw at it. Now let's get to the juicy part. Why use Raspberry Pi for digital signage? Well, for starters, it's dirt cheap. If we are talking about Pi3 or Pi4 models, then you're getting an HDMI output, decent RAM and solid GPU capabilities, all for about 50 US dollars. Not bad for a digital signage player that can smoothly run full HD content and still save power like a monk on a fast. But right here on my desk, I've got the newest model that really makes a difference. The Raspberry Pi 5 with 4GB of RAM. This one will already cost you around 100 to 120 US dollars. Plus, keep in mind that if you're planning to use this mini PC as a digital signage player, you will need to get a few extras. First, a case like this one I have here, which even includes a built-in fan. Then, of course, a power adapter and a micro SD card since the PI doesn't have internal storage and a mini HDMI to standard HDMI cable to connect it to your display. It's not hard to do the math. The full setup for the latest Raspberry Pi model will run you over 150 US dollars, which is roughly on par with our flagship look HD2222 player, for example. A device that offers similar performance, but works straight out of the box. You'll find the link to our store in the description below. That said, the Raspberry Pi option is still very much worth considering, mostly due to its stability and solid performance the device delivers. Moreover, it is super compact, easily mountable behind any screen, and incredibly flexible thanks to its compatibility with Linux-based operating systems. Plus, let's not forget the community thousands of users around the world are constantly building, tweaking, and sharing tips which makes troubleshooting and improvement a breeze. All right, so how do you actually turn this humble board into a digital signage beast powered by Luke DS? It's easier than you think. Here's a quick setup guide, but don't worry, I'll link the full tutorial from Luke's knowledge base in the description down below. First, you will need your Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card, at least eight gigabytes, and a PC Windows, Mac OS, or Ubuntu X, 86. Next, head over to our knowledge base and download the custom Look OS image for Raspberry Pi. You flash this image onto your SD card using a tool called Raspberry Pi Imager. You can also connect it to Wi-Fi on this step or make it later in the device itself. Everything is pretty fast and quite simple here. Just a few steps. Once the image is loaded, insert the SD card into your PI, plug it into your screen and power it up. After the first boot, you will see the Look Player interface and your device's unique connection code. Go to Look CMS, log into your account and connect your PI using that code. And boom, your device is now online and ready to receive content. Upload your media, create playlists, schedules and layouts. Everything can now be controlled remotely from anywhere in the world. And the best part? All the powerful features of Luke DS, like real-time content updates, proof-of-play reporting, dynamic scheduling for different times of the day, 
and even integration with platforms like Zapier are right there at your fingertips. So you're not just getting digital signage, you're getting enterprise-grade control in a DIY setup. To wrap this up, Raspberry Pi is hands down one of the most cost-effective and flexible options for building your digital signage network, especially when paired with powerful, user-friendly platform like Loop Digital Signage. Whether you're managing a few screens in a coffee shop or deploying a national chain, this combo delivers stability and performance without blowing the budget. If you haven't already tried Luke DS, there is no better time. Sign up now and get your 14-day free trial. No credit card required. That's it for today, folks. Smash the like button if you found this helpful. Subscribe to stay in the loop with all things digital signage and hit the bell so you never miss a new upload. Got questions? Drop them in the comments here below. I love hearing from you. This is Gabriel from Luke signing off. See you in the next videos. Bye.